So Sydney home prices drifted lower again in July and I know uh, that feeling that the tide is turning towards a buyer's market combined with historically low interest rates is making it almost irresistible for a lot of you to uh, get into the property market and I know a lot of you are getting ready to buy. So today's post is my top three tips for entering the market right now. So tip number one, get your finance in place first and foremost, please. And I don't just mean a wink and a nod from your mate's mortgage broker friend. You need a fully approved loan ready to go. Uh, applications are taking a long time at the moment, plus the lending environment is changing on a day-to-day -day basis, which means um, you really need to be 100% confident with your, uh, with your lending before you go out shopping. So get your loan in place. Uh, tip number two is just to focus on quality with your property search. Be really clear on all of those things that you're looking for, your needs and your wants, the area, the orientation, the build quality, all of those things. And consider those first and foremost, rather than looking at stuff and thinking, God, that looks cheap, oh, I could get a discount there, that might be a bargain that's going to end you in trouble. You're not buying a lemon. So think about what you want and what you need first and then consider the price after that and that'll help you to, to, uh, to buy well. And my final tip is you've got to be making sure that you've got access to off-market properties. Now when it's a buyer's market there are so many more reasons for sellers to use the off-market route to sell their property and if you're not getting access to all of those off-market properties you're not maximizing your chance of buying well. Now, if you're a do-it-yourself person, uh, one way you can access off-market property is to contact all of the strong agents operating in the suburbs you're looking. Let them know what your brief is. Uh, call them on a weekly basis just to check in and ask them what off-market properties have they got or have they got coming up. The easier and far superior method, of course, is to use a really good buyer's agent that specializes in the area that you're looking. And not only do they have great relationships with agents, they'll go beyond that and they actually have some interesting, unconventional ways and means to find properties that would suit you that aren't even for sale. So that's really giving you access to a whole different level of property that you wouldn't normally if you go the conventional way. So I hope those, top, uh, those three tips have helped you today and uh, if you have any questions, uh, please.